Hi, it's Jeremy Weiss here. We're here with Dennis Liu, and he's been, he's going to talk to us a little bit about how we go from having an idea to actually making our first sale and starting a business. Dennis has been programming since age 12. He's won numerous web design awards. He's been a consultant at Capgemini Financial Services, consultant at Ernst & Young. He was a co-founder of Raven, and he's co-founder and CEO of Touch of Modern. Thanks, Dennis, for having on, sir, for coming on. Yep, thanks for having me. So, Dennis, we get a lot of comments from people who say, I have tons of ideas, but I don't know where to start. I'm trying to do a side business, but they have a full-time job, family, maybe have you know lots of bills. Uh, they maybe have a fear that their friends and family may see the business fail. So I thought you'd be the perfect person to talk about how do we go from having an idea to actually starting a business, because I know you've done that several times. So I want you to start with just telling us a story of how you got one of your ideas and how you got it started. Yeah. Um, so one of our ideas was uh, Raven, which is kind of like you know this this booking engine for um, outdoor activities and, and various experiences, like mm -hmm. like an open table. Um, and I think like most uh, good ideas, it comes from solving a personal pain point. Yeah. Um, so one of the things I did when I was in consulting was I used my frequent flyer miles to fly all over uh, various areas. And um, one summer I decided to take a trip to uh, Alaska to do a fishing trip by myself. Fun. And uh, booking that trip was actually uh, a really big pain. Um, mm -hmm. The the website looked like it was from like you know the 1990s. Mm -hmm. um, the scheduling system didn't really quite work that well. I actually had to had to call them a couple times to you know give them my credit card and make sure that everything was confirmed. Um, so I just thought that you know there was a better way to do this. Um, and and, I, and at the time I was doing a lot of outdoor activity stuff. I was you know I went skydiving for the first time. I, I was doing like you know rafting, rock climbing, and so I just I was trying all these different things. But their websites were just atrocious, right? So this, this was like pre this is like restaurant websites pre open table right? okay so kind of like that sort of experience so what how did you get started then how did you actually get it started so you had this idea that you wanted to solve what'd you do um yeah so you know we i, I had a couple of guys that i knew um back in school and you know we were sitting around um in a restaurant and just decided to just uh jump in and and build something um but we, you know, we, we were working in business, and we didn't, we hadn't been programming in like a couple of years. So, you know, obviously we we're really, really rusty in terms of uh, our skill set. So, we actually contracted um, out the first version of the website to um, these guys in India to build it for like you know eight dollars an hour, and um, and yeah, just just got the first prototype built by them. And the uh, the cool thing was that. Um, while they were building the website, we were kind of learning from them as they built it. So mm -hmm. as they were coding it, as they were giving us all the code snippets and the designs, and we were kind of learning, you know, Ruby on Rails, um, learning Ruby on Rails with them. So like, you know, we would look at their code, we would look at how they structured uh, the back end, and we kind of learned how to build a website from them. So then when we actually released the final versions, so like everything since then was built by us, by our, our team. Mm -hmm. So with this, from this point, what's one thing you tell the audience to do right now? Because you've started on several ideas, several businesses. What should they start doing right now to get started on their uh, first idea or sale on their first idea? Um, I think, you know, before I would say, you know, just, just go out and build it. I think now I would say really try to understand your customer. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that we didn't do was actually talk to the fishing boat captain and mm -hmm. get his feedback, right? So after we had the product built, I actually went back out there with my iPad and I showed him our, our product, right? Like here, here's a scheduling system, here's a booking platform that you can use to get people to your website and, and book. Um, he, he had a lot of difficulty trying to understand how it would benefit him, right? Like it didn't really increase his revenue, it didn't really decrease his cost all that much. Um, you have to pay us some monthly fee. So he didn't really seem that excited. And I think you can kind of gauge how easy or hard it is to acquire um, a customer by just seeing how excited they are talking to you. Mm -hmm. um, and if we had done that earlier on, I think um, it would have been a lot easier, you know, trying to, to get that business off the ground. 
Um, so I would say talk to your customers, and then after that, after you kind of figure out exactly what they want, then start building. Yeah, that's great advice. We'll have to start testing first and talking to our potential customers. What's uh, some of the tools or software you'd recommend someone use to get started? Um, I think LaunchRock is a good one. Um, when we started um, Touch Up Modern, uh, mm -hmm. we actually just threw up a, a LaunchRock page and just run, ran ads against it and just um, tried to figure out how easy or hard it was to acquire a user, right? Mm -hmm. and, and just from that alone, you can see you know, how easy or hard it is to scale a business, right? So you, know, you can figure out the cost of user acquisition. You can figure out you know, if you tell your friends and family how easy or how spreadable the idea is, um, mm -hmm. how easy it is to get people to sign up. So, so yeah, just, just throwing up a quick launch rock page and trying to get traffic to it and trying to get people to sign up will, will, will tell you a lot. Yeah, I love it. So, you know, Dennis, thanks for your words of wisdom and your stories. Where, sh where can people reach out to you and thank you? Tell us a little bit about uh, Touch of Modern. Yeah, so if you want to reach out, my email is dennis at touchofmodern.com. Um, the website is just touchofmodern.com. And, yeah, we're uh, a modern private sales website. Uh, we run sales at discounts for, you know, five days at a time. And our primary demographic is um, – the male audience in sort of like the, the luxury high-end uh, market. So, yeah, definitely check it out. All right. Dennis, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we look forward to checking out Touch of Modern. Yep. Thanks for your time. <laughs> All right.